Happy March 4th and happy Black History Month, everybody. Well, this video is going to kind of be kind of serious. Uh, I take this video very close to my heart because this is how I feel. And I feel like ain't nobody going to do a video like this. So I feel like that I should do the video, you know, to tell people how I feel. Now, I'm not going to say, I'm going to say this. Everybody don't feel like this. And I'm going to say everybody's not like this. So, I'm going to read the words out of my phone, then y'all see and know what I'm talking about. So I said, being a gay man transitioning to a transgender woman, I feel like the heterosexual world don't respect us. What I mean about that is, I think for years and years to come, they, they have never respect us. But they constantly want us to be friends with them. And what made me think that they won't respect us or they never did respect us was, I don't know if y'all know, and I'm pretty sure y'all seen, Claudia Jordan from Atlanta Housewives. She was playing on a lot of housewives. So now she got her own show. So she going to say that uh, she ain't going to cater to no woman. Or she not going to cater to the homosexuals because they didn't make her like this. That's basically what she was saying. She was, wasn't going to cater to no woman and she wasn't going to cater to the homosexual. But I think for years and years, the homosexuals have been working, doing makeup, been working in the beauty shops. You know, I remember me coming up. That's all I ever seen. You understand what I'm saying? And because I'm pretty sure y'all know this, South of Santana, he comes out and he he's very feminine. He carries a purse, you know. Uh, he wears nails. I mean, you know, he dresses like a female. So, but I don't think it's nothing wrong with that. If that's just the way that person feels, that's just the way that person feels. But it goes back to this. It doesn't surprise me how heterosexual women or heterosexual men talk about us because that's just how they feel. And like I sit there and said, we ain't never been respected in the heterosexual world. You know, I'm going to say this. The first time I was uh, friends with a heterosexual woman, that was the first time I had problems out of the heterosexual men. And that caused her not to be friends with me no more. And I always wondered, I said, what my sexuality got to do with us just being good friends? You know, I always wondered that. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I always wondered that. In reality, she couldn't even tell me. And I ran across her years and years to come. And this one, I had my BMW. And uh, she looked at nice, but I was bossed up too. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm a bossed up person. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't going to let nobody take away my shine. And 
you know, she has shine as well. She always been a, I think, and I and I give props to the women. They always been good hairstylists, good nail techs. So I don't, I don't have a problem with them. So, but I just feel like they, they have a problem with us. Now, I remember me transitioning to a transgender. It was the first time I got dressed up as a girl. And I was going into the store. I'm pretty sure y'all know about Rainbow, right? So I was going into the uh, Rainbow store as they shop for women. And that cause they sell women clothes. So the first thing I seen was this woman cause I bought some dress and some dresses and some panties. So first thing she did was make fun of me cause she seen me carry a purse and everything. And I'm just like, okay, what's the problem? What is she, what is she laughing at? I'm not thinking that. The whole time she was laughing at me. So when I get back in the car, I wasn't in my car this time. This time I was in one of my friend's car and she had a Dodge Charger and she told me, won't you drive? And she said in the back because our other friend was with us as well. I guess they feel like that everything was funny, but I didn't feel like everything was funny. I feel like we was being disrespected and I don't, I don't like to be disrespected because it don't matter to me what your sexuality is it's all about you being respected towards me and I feel like once you cross those boundaries you have crossed them so you know she you know these people out here in this world, they do a lot. They do. They disrespect you. They they don't know when to not to cross your boundaries and to cross your boundaries. And it's a lot. A lot of people do too much. A lot of people don't know when to stop doing too much. You know, because Ooh. Excuse me, y'all. I woke up early this morning. Y'all know I be telling y'all how my caregiver comes at six in the morning. So I had woke up early. I just feel like some of the stuff that was going on was being disrespected and was being difficult. And I'm a type of person that has never really been difficult about nothing, you know. And also the kind of person that never cared what somebody else say. But it came to the fact that I did care what somebody else said now. I did care about that person talking about me. And I never cared before. I never cared before. All I wanted to do was be respected. But I just feel like I wasn't even being respected. But you know what? The thing is, this shouldn't even matter to me because my uh, own family disrespect me a lot. Uh, when I said they disrespected me, well, I'm going to start off by saying some of the people in my family did agree with me transitioning to a transgender woman. Some of my family members thought that to themselves, they don't agree with it, you know. But I didn't understand why they didn't agree with it. But they was okay with me being a gay man. And I was like, what's the difference? You know, I'm still going to carry a purse. I'm still going to go get my nails done. So what's the difference? Please tell me the difference. If y'all see anything, that's my TV in the background.
uh, what's the difference? Can y'all comment down below and tell me the difference between a gay man and a transgender woman? And why should your family feel a certain type of way? Because I feel like it's no type of way. I feel like you is what you is and nobody should, shouldn't disrespect you for that. But you got people out here, of course, disrespecting you. Don't care who you are, they disrespecting you. Yep. But the whole time, only thing you doing is respecting them because you wasn't brought up to be like that. But I don't want to say that they brought up either to be like that. I'm going to just say, allegedly, they just like that. And then it's, it, it gets so bad to where if you be in a relationship with somebody, that person don't even know how to respect you. I want to say that person don't know how to love, but I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that because sometimes I feel like that person do know how to love. They just don't know how to be respectful. That's, that's just what I'm going to say because, uh, I just don't think they know, uh, know how to be respectful. I think they know how to love because I think they parents Talk them how to love. But then, my mama told me this a long time ago. A woman can't make or uh, raise no boy. It takes a, a, a man to raise a boy. To raise him in a good man. To raise him in a responsible man. But I don't believe that. I believe a woman can uh, raise a boy just as well as a man can raise his own daughter. I don't think it got to do with anything with parenting. You know, maybe you feel like you're just not doing no good parenting. Because I was raised by a woman, you know, and look how I turned out. I feel like if you're going to steal, if you're going to boost, whatever you're going to do out of life, you're going to do it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Whether you was raised by the woman, whether you was raised by your grandmama, or, or just where you raised by your aunt, you still going to do what you do, or rather you raised by your daddy. That's not going to stop anything. It's not going to stop things that went on in your life. It's not going to, it's not going to stop it. I think people should know that, and I think people should learn that. That the stuff that you're going through is not going to stop it. It's a part of life, and it's a part of this world. I just don't like that we live in a world that you are homosexual, but they can't respect you as who you are. You know, they don't respect you as a gay man and they don't respect you when you transition me to a transgender woman. That's just how I feel, y'all. But I want y'all to comment down below. Tell me how y'all feel about this video. And I, I just want y'all to enjoy y'all weekend. Well, I'm doing this video early, so I don't need, oh yeah, enjoy y'all weekend because, uh, it's next week. So enjoy y'all weekend. I want y'all to know I did this video kind of early. So I love y'all. Bye.